this pandemic wears on and we're trying to put together the jigsaw puzzle about understanding how the spread of infection happens, the science behind it, uh, Dr. Gavin McGregor Skinner, a senior director of GBAC, has ke kept his eye on this. And he's excited when there's news that comes out that tells us some information that we need to know. Gavin, welcome to the program. Hi, Jeff. Happy Presence Day. I think it's important that we celebrate George Washington's 209th birthday. And I'll, I'll be having carrot cake tonight, Jeff. Well, you should. And today is supposed to be a day off, but here we are recording this episode. So thank you for giving up some of your time. And I hope you enjoy that cake. But what we're going to talk about is, is something recent. Just last week, you mentioned to me there's some emerging studies that got your attention. Tell us about those. Yes, last Thursday, Jeff, February 17th, CDC released three really important studies. Now, the first study I'm going to talk about is a study they did on a Navy ship where they found that in a Navy ship that had 98% vaccination rate amongst the personnel, they did a port visit into Reykjavik, Iceland in July 2021. The outbreak that occurred on that Navy ship out of 350 people on board, only 6.3% were infected at a 98% vaccination rate. Now that compares to 25% on other Navy ships that had no vaccination. These, these were outbreaks that occurred before vaccination became uh, available. So again, showed that vac vaccination was really important. So tell us about that second report, Gavin. Well, last Thursday, Jeff, the second report that CDC released actually supports the third report that we're going to talk about, which is a report about a convention center. Now, in the second report, of those people that attended an event at that convention center in November last year, 16 out of 23 friends were infected with COVID. They all went to the convention center, which was the Javits Center in New York. They stayed in the same rental building. They went to the same bars and same restaurants, and they infected 33% of their family members when they returned home. So it shows that that close social crowding um, occurrence that occurred uh, within that rental building and as well as going to just socializing all the time really led to that outbreak and led to transmission of COVID-19 amongst that, that group of 23. So sounds like bad news. Is there more to this though? This is a, that second study is a really important study for the third study we're going to talk about. And this is a study that CDC published last week about a convention center. It's not just the Javits Center in New York. It actually applies to all convention centers, but it was done in the Javits Center. In November 2021, the Javits Center in New York had a 53,000 person convention. It was an anime convention. And everyone thought this is going to be a super spreader event. We're going to get outbreaks everywhere. So the Javits Center in New York is a GBAC star accredited facility. And so they're doing something different. And what we found at this convention in November 2021, out of 4,560 attendees that had test results, only 119 tested positive for COVID-19. So that's about a rate of 2.6%. Remember the second study that we talked about, Jeff, 16 out of 23 got infected? Well, at that actual convention of 53,000, only 2.6% got infected. And CDC has made some really important statements that are applicable to GBAC star as well as the clean industry of why this happened and what the Javits Center, a convention center, was doing differently. So, Gavin, as an epidemiologist, how do you feel about this? This is really exciting, Jeff, because when we looked at convention centers across all of our GBAC star facilities, as well as the Javits Center in New York, the Javits Center was very similar. It was temporarily transformed into, a, into one of the largest hospitals on, in America. A total of 1,095 patients were tr transported from region hospitals into this convention center where they could receive care because we were just so overwhelmed. But the Javits Center, like many convention centers, did something different. They, they added additional measures, Jeff, to enhance the safety of all visitors. And I'd like to go through those additional measures. So the additional measures that the Javits Center, which is a GBAC star facility accredited, what did was really important to note that it doesn't just apply to convention centers, it applies to a lot of indoor facilities. They installed high efficiency particulate air filters or HEPA filters. Again, that reduces the air, poll air pollutants throughout the convention center. They, that also improves the quality of the air. They enhance the cleaning of all high volume all these high touch areas, and they distributed lots and lots of hand sanitizer stations throughout their building. 
They had a requirement for all employees to be fully vaccinated in order to work on the site. They installed socially distanced seating in all food and beverage areas. And so this accreditation by the Global Biorisk Advisor Council or GPAC or any other accreditation uh, program that's out there is really important because it increases the facility and bring them up to a level where they are doing or implementing the industry's highest standard for cleaning disinfection. But they also, the Javits Center also demonstrated, Jeff, that all of their employees were trained to comply and understand the 20 core elements of GBAC from anything from standard operating procedures to personal protective equipment. And it's, this is such an important lesson to, for everyone to learn. It's not a, a silver bullet. It's not something magical. It's lots of pieces of the jigsaw. It's lots of things that you're doing that creates and enhances the safety for all visitors and creates a safe indoor event, no matter where you are.